Hey, it's Chase. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm doing okay myself. And today's video is going to be on my Marvel Funko Pop collection. So let's get right into it. First off, I'm going to start with Infinity Warps. If you don't know, Infinity Warps is basically your favorite superheroes merged together to create one ultimate superhero. So first off, Soldier Supreme. Iron Hammer. And a Rap Knight. So this is the original set for the Infinity Warps line. It comes with three, you got three characters here. You got Soldier Supreme, Iron Hammer, and Arachnite. This is Captain America and Doctor Strange merged together. Thor and Iron Man, and Spider-Man and Moon Knight. They all go in the dark, they're Walgreens exclusives, and this is one of my favorite Marvel sets. Next up, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you guys have been keeping up with your Marvel lore lately, um, the Falcon, AKA Sam Wilson is the new Captain America after Steve Rogers, the original Captain America, retired. So he's the new Captain America. So let me show you my pops. So I got Captain America here. This is the Walmart exclusive variant of the many others that Funko made. Yeah. Let me show you the back. And then this one is a Target exclusive and this is the Blacklight variant. Next up, Venom. I got Venomized Jack-O-Lantern. He's a Hot Topic exclusive. Let me show you guys the back. And let me tell you a little bit more about this guy. So this version of Jack-O-Lantern Jack is an assassin who rides a broomstick. He's similar to Hobgoblin and Green Goblin. This is my favorite Funko Venom Funko Pop so far. And this Funko Pop right here, what I like about it and what I wish it had was a glow in the dark. I wish it had like, it has a lot of glow in the dark potential and would have been one of the best Hot Topic exclusive, glow in the dark exclusive Funko Pops. I love this line that Funko made. Or let me show you the back. They made your favorite heroes, villains, just uh, venomized. I really like this line of Funko Pops they made from for, from Marvel. And I hope they keep making more. I think they made a new one recently. It's a Funko Store exclusive. It's like Venom. Next up, my Spider-Man collection. So first up, we got Hobgoblin. This is the Target exclusive and he actually comes in a pop and tea box. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now, Hobgoblin. Anyway, the, the thing I like about the um, the Pop and T version variant is that it glows in the dark. And you know me, I love glow in the dark Funko Pops. Let me show you the back. Target exclusive, but it doesn't glow in there. Two variants. You can get it in the Pop and T box or you can just get it as it is. I really like this one. And next up, my new addition to my Spider-Man collection, Spider-Man issue number 300. This is a comic comer. I actually got this guy from Target Con. Um, if you guys want to see my Target Con video where I show you my shopping experience in my haul, um, link will be in the description below. So let me show you the back. This is actually my first uh, comic cover I ever got. Really like this one. I love how it has that vintage, co vintage comic look to it. Really like this one. Oh yeah, and this Spider-Man right here is actually symbiote, symbiote Spider-Man. No, Spider-Man but symbiote. And a symbiote is an alien parasite from outer space. Venom, basically. But yeah, I really love this version of him. Spider-Man. Favorite suit. Next up, Moon Knight. And I got the pops from the show. So let me show you. Moon Knight, Hot Topic exclusive, glows in the dark. And Miss Mr. Knight, Walmart exclusive, and also glows in the dark. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about him. So Moon Knight here, AKA Mark Spector, was a mercenary who was left for dead in the desert where he was revived by the moon god, Khonshu, in exchange to be his avatar. He also has DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, causing him to have two alter egos. And one of his egos here is Moon Knight, I mean, Mr. Knight, Stephen Grant. And let me get, show you guys the back. So this is the set. These are my two favorite Funko Bobs out of the whole set. Next up, Marvel Zombies, one of my favorite comic series from Marvel. I got Zombie Morbius. He's a 2021 spring convention exclusive and, and you can only get him at GameStop. So let me tell you a little bit more about Morbius here. So Morbius um, once is a, is a vampire who once was human. He had a rare disease that he was trying to cure, but he ended up turning himself into a living vampire. He's basically an anti-hero and this is his zombie variant. Next up, Immortal Hulk. He's a PX Previews exclusive and he does have a Chase Glow in the Dark variant. This version of Hulk is when Bruce Banner died and the Devil Hulk, a highly intelligent being, with the power to destroy the world, took over. And I was fortunate enough to get this guy at Marshalls for about $8, not bad. Um, I, if you guys wanna see my um, Marshalls video where I got, where I show you the Funko Pops I got from Marshalls, link will be in the description below. And recently, Mar 
uh, Marshalls has been getting more Funko Pops in lately. I'm going to be showing you guys a clip of that later this week. So stay tuned. And next up, Silk. Not only was Peter Parker bitten that day, but a, the name, another individual by the name of Sydney Moon was bitten as well. And then she later became Silk. Basically another Spider-Girl. A lot of female Spider-Mans out there. So she's a 2022 convention exclusive and you can only get her on Hot Topic. Let me show you guys the back. Oh, I'm sorry, did I, did I not show you guys the back of the whole Funko Pop? Let me show you that again, just in case. This is one of my favorite Spider-Man Funko Pops. Next up, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I gotta say, this movie was one of my favorite uh, Marvel movies so far. So first up, I got Doctor Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. Let me, get, let me show you guys the back. He has a GameStop exclusive variant and it comes in metallic. Next up, Wong, Doctor Strange Psychic. Next up, Scarlet Witch, Harnesser of, the, of Chaos Magic. This is her, this is the Wal Walmart exclusive variant. I wish it was glow in the dark. It has so much potential for that. Let me show you the back. And lastly, Dead Strange. This is basically Defender Strange's dead body, which Doctor Strange uses in another um, reality or dimension to fight Wanda in an epic cool, in an epic battle scene. And they actually have a Funko Pop moments. Yeah, pop of it, of the battle. It's pretty cool. He also has a, I believe, a Hot Topic Glow in the Dark variant. Next up, X-Men. First off, Jubilee. Magic. Longshot. Nightcrawler. And lastly, Bishop. Let's talk about him a little bit more. Let's start off with Jubilee. Jubilee has the ability to generate e explosive energy blasts, kind of like fireworks. Longshot here, an engineered, genetically engineered life form with the ability to manipulate probability. And Magic here, a, mute, a sorceress who rules the demonic realm known as Limbo. She can travel through time and space. And these guys are Walgreens exclusives. Bishop here was born in a dystopic future and then traveled back in time to join the X-Men. His ability is to absorb energy-based attacks and release that energy from his body. And Nightcrawler here, he's got teleporting abilities and I like his demonic look he has. Next up, Black Panther, starting with T'Challa on Throne. He's a Target exclusive and part of the Legacy Collection, Black Panther Legacy Collection. He is the protector and warrior of Wakanda, also known as the Black Panther. So, so let me show you guys the back. Next up, Shuri. She's a Target exclusive, also part of the Legacy Collection. She is T'Challa's sister and chief science officer of Wakanda. Next up, Ramonda. She is a Target exclusive and part of the Legacy Collection. Let me show you guys the back. She is the queen of Wakanda and mother of T'Challa and Shuri. Next up, Okoye. She is the general of Wakandan armed forces and intel. And let me show you guys the back. Both warriors from Telecon. I got Namora and Atuma. So this is my Marvel Funko Pop collection. If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more content, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything on this channel. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite Marvel character is and which is your favorite Funko Pop. And I'll see you guys in the next one.